Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Pat the D, in case this is your first time here. I make videos on YouTube on my motherhood experience, so if that's something that you're interested in, please do subscribe and join our little YouTube family. We are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so please, if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely go hit that subscribe button and also um, the notification bell right next to it um, so that you're notified every single time I have a new video up. As you can see from the title of this video today, I will be sharing with you guys my toddler must-have. Now, I have a newborn must-have video, which is quite popular in my channel. So, in case you have a newborn, then you can go check that one out. I also have a 3 to 6 months. I also have a 6 to 9. So, depending on the age of your baby at the moment, you can go check out those videos. I will link all of them in the description down below. But in this video, I will be focusing on 12 to 24 months, which is... I guess one to two years um, now these products you can use them earlier than 12 months and you can also use them later than 24 months but these have been completely completely helpful to me in the past year so I just wanted to come on here and share them with you guys now the person that I want to talk about is the high chair the high chair that we have is a high chair that we've actually had for quite some time it was part of our registry and we got it since before Rue was born, but he didn't use it much during his first year. He mostly used his Bumble Flow seat during meal time. And I actually forgot the brand of the high chair. I'll find out and I'll put it somewhere on the screen. It's really, really good. We absolutely love it. He's been using it a lot since he turned one. It is super great because it helps him concentrate on eating during meal time because my child is a busy bee, you guys. He will, if you just give him food and say that he'll, and think that he'll sit down and concentrate on eating, it's not going to happen. He'll take a bite and then start running around, take another bite, start running around. And by the time he's halfway through the food, it's either cold or dry or just not good anymore. So or all kinds of flies and bugs have kind of set on it and all that stuff. So it's really good to have a place for him to kind of sit and be restricted of movement and really focus on his food and eat and finish it. Um, we also love the high chair because it's padded. So it's a lot more comfortable. It is also adjustable. It can go high and it can go low. And the second thing that I want to talk about are these sectioned plates from Munchkin. So I love divided plates simply because my child likes to have options. He likes to have different types of foods in his plate. We usually would put like something that he really likes that he's we know for sure he's going to eat. Then we will also just put like a food for him to try. And I love the fact that the divisions are kind of high rise. So you can put things that are watery like dips and um, pureed food and you know porridge and all that fun stuff in these plates so i really really like them the other place that i really love are the the bowls also from munchkin these are good for pureed food they are good for porridge for oats yogurt and all that fun stuff and the fact that they are suctioned at the bottom really really helps because during those first few toddler phase months where they are trying to figure out the spoon they're really kind of really going at it it really helps that the plate is not going all over the place so that it's a little less messy but the truth is you know with toddlers it will get messy like that's just the truth i will say though that um the section is not that great it's good like if your child is not really trying to get the plate out but if your child is as strong as mine, he will get the plate out, you know. So the next place that I really love is this silicone plate we got from Mr. Price Home. It is non-slip. Um, the only issue that I have with this plate though is the fact that it's so big that it can't fit on the tray of his high chair. So when we use it, usually we have to be sitting at a... Um, would you call this? At a dinner table type sitting. Now when it comes to cups, I love you guys. Like this is my favorite cup ever when it comes to toddlers. It's the Munchkin Weighted Cup one. Like if you go on YouTube, on Instagram or everything, every toddler is running around with this cup. It is very, very highly re reviewed because, and it's for a good reason because it's really, really good. It's a straw cup. If I had known, I would have just went straight to this cup and forgot all about sippy cups. But we started getting this one, I think, later into his first year, maybe nine, ten months. I love this one because it has this weighted thing at the bottom. It helps uh, locate where the liquid is coming from. So no matter if your baby is like this, the straw will always find its way to the liquid so that your child is able to drink from it, whatever angle your child is sitting. So that is the best thing about it. Another cup also that we've used is this Munchkin cup. This is actually the 360 one. I have no idea where the lid is, but I will find like a picture or like a short video of the cup. The, the 360 lid thing is actually non-spill so that really helps just to cause a little less of a mess and lastly it's just the normal 
cup open cup just a little normal open cup that can fit in that little hand for them to drink is works really really great this one was from mr price home now when your baby gets into the toddler phase after the first birthday like the potty training you know starts to be in our minds we're thinking about it we're wondering when to start when they're ready and these things are some of the essential stuff that i have for him for when i do potty train i do i have started potty training where i am kind of just introducing the idea and all that fun stuff so i'm not really there yet but i'm getting there um, and these are just some of the things that i've gotten for that process the first thing of course is the actual potty. Now the potty that we have is from Fisher Price. I love this thing because it is raised here and my child is a boy and I don't want a situation whereby he's sitting on the potty trying to potty and his little wee wee just rolls right out because I've seen those videos on Instagram. While they're really funny, I don't want to experience them. So the fact that this thing has raised here, it helps kind of keep the pee in the potty it is also easy to take this out um so it's easy to clean and all that stuff so another potty training essential is this toilet seat that is you know toddler size it's the one that you just put on the big toilet the grown-up toilet so that it is a lot more comfortable for the little booties so i completely forgot the brand of this one but it's really cool that it's padded so it's a little bit more comfortable another thing when it comes to potty training well it's more than for potty training but mostly helpful for potty training especially if you're going to use the big the big toilet is a stool this one is from bounce the brand bounce by the way oh i think bounce is actually the brand for the high chair but anyway yes you can also use this for like when they're washing their hands to step up to the, the sink and all that fun stuff so when they're washing their hands or when they want to be helpful somehow maybe in the kitchen help wash dishes and all that stuff i will say though this stool is a little bit lower than i had thought it would be i think i have seen like the two-step one but it wasn't there when i bought this one i will look for it and if i find it i will put a picture up here just for you guys to see it because i think that will be a better option than this one step one um so yeah i think that's that with potty training i do have also a potty book a potty book that we've been reading a lot it is called boys potty time um, it comes with like some stickers so for times that when they do get something in the potty you give them a little sticker it is just a book that we've been reading just in preparation for potty training I picked this one up from exclusive books and they do have one for girls where they where it says girls potty time and it's pink so you could pick that up if you have um, a girl so the next things that I want to talk about are toys toys that keep him entertained that are also educational and help him in his development now first and foremost is things that have been really helping in developing his speech books are a big thing um, storybooks are good um, especially the ones with rhyming words I love this one which is a noisy farmyard tale this is his favorite book right now he will read it with you. He finishes up phrases. He loves this book so much. Spotty Dotty Cow really loves to chew. Good job. Watch her eating grass and listen to her moo. Good job. Peppy Brown Horse loves eating tasty hay. Watch him trot along and listen to him neigh. <laughs> <laughs> Fluffy woolly sheep leaping near and far. Watch her jump the gate and listen to her. <laughs> First word books are really cool to kind of help him develop his speech. There's this first animals one, baby touch ones that I like that have like numbers and different things inside. Super cool. This uh, first word puzzle book kind set. It's a it's a play set. It has like puzzle pieces here, but it's also a book, so you can open like this. I hope you can see. And then you have to put like puzzles, like the pieces of the puzzle inside and stuff like that. It's really really fun, and he really likes it, and he likes to play with it. Another really cool thing that really helps with speech are my first word flashcards. Let me just open them for you. Like just different words. Dog, fish, fire engine, gem, teddy bear. Just all these different words that he gets to learn. At the back of each of um, each card just kind of shows you different ways you can use the card to help your baby teach. Um, for example, with this ball one, at the back it says, 
the first thing that you can do with your child is have them name what is on the card you can also have them name the colors on the ball you can also teach them different games that you can play with a ball and then also what does ball start with what letter that does ball start with like you can buy these actually as early and early as possible from six months you can start just using flashcards and first word books with them i got these at exclusive books so i'll try to link everything that i talk about on this video on the description down below so the next thing that i want to talk about that really help entertain him and teach him stuff are puzzles puzzles are really cool you guys they can keep him engaged for a while i'm not gonna say for a long time because toddlers if you have a toddler if you have a boy toddler you know keeping them engaged for more than five minutes is like a dream so the bella you're just trying to get them concentrated on something for at least two minutes <laughs> so yeah puzzles really do great with that and um this is a puzzle from the brand melissa and doug i love the melissa and doug brand you guys they make these wooden toys and wooden puzzles that work so great with Rue. So these help him learn colors and different shapes. The other puzzle that I want to talk about also from Melissa and Doug is this old McDonald had a farm puzzle which has different animals and make different animal sounds. My child loves animals, loves making animal sounds. Another way we explored like his love for animals is getting him these little figures of animals. This is a sheep. This is a donkey. Like there's a whole bunch of them. I don't know where the others are. Oh, we have a we have a horse here. So my child also loves cars in every form. He loves toy cars, he loves real cars, he just loves cars. So we got him these big cars. He mostly loves this truck. Um, he actually sleeps with this truck. Beep, beep. Like while other, you know, babies love like security blankets and stuffed animals. My child loves him a truck. So every time you say, "Hey, it's nap time or it's time for sleep," he'll locate his truck, pick it up, and then walks to his bedroom and knows that it's time to sleep. He loves, loves, loves this truck. It's like his little security thing for him. And on, on the first day of school, actually, I was like thinking, because I read somewhere that, you know, it can help like to keep your child calm, like giving him something from home. And most people were like, like a stuffed animal, like a little dummy, like something just that they like to play with at home. And that just kind of reminds them of home. And I thought of giving him this big truck to take him to, to take to school. And I was just like, oh, I don't know if that is going to look good or whatever. Anything with wheels, really, my child loves. Um, this train, this is from Melissa and Doug, and we just love this thing. It can also be detached though, like this. It can also come, come apart, so he can put it together and he can put it apart. Another thing that he loves is this tunnel thing that we have. I think it's somewhere here. It took him a while to get used to it. I saw it on a mom's um, YouTube video once, and I was like, oh, that looks super cool. And he was kind of scared of getting into it for a while. Um, but then I think after a month or so, after my his dad and I had kind of just kept on getting in it and just showing him that, hey, there's nothing to fear. And then he started kind of just getting into it, and then he just started loving it. He gets inside, and he plays peekaboo with it and all that stuff. He just absolutely loves it. So it is definitely a winner. Another thing that he loves are toys that make music my child loves music you guys he will jive and dance and all that stuff like when he's busy with something and then he hears music he is distracted that this over for whatever he's he's doing at the moment he will go to wherever the music is coming from so a xylophone is definitely a no-brainer for a toddler they love this and i've actually started learning i actually started learning a couple of songs to play on the xylophone just to humor him and all that fun stuff and you know he just loves these so much loves them he will play them all day and then he'll just be like eh, 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 eh. they're really really cool i love them they, they come in sets of two there's actually two of these uh somewhere i don't know where the other one is Another thing that he loves is a pool. He had like a small one when he was younger. And then when he got older, we got him like a little, like a, a bigger one, a blue one. I will show you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, then you've probably seen these things so much on my stories and him using all of these things. Like just to end the entertainment section of my toddler, I know this is going to be so controversial. But one thing that I would be lying to you guys by not mentioning has helped me. That has helped me survive the toddler phase. Is the good old iPad, you guys. I know, I know. Some moms are like, girl, screen time, what, what? But you guys, this thing is such a lifesaver for me. Keeping him calm, keeping him distracted, keeping him entertained while we are out and about. 
their games that we have downloaded for him to play that are educational and all that fun stuff so it's not all bad okay and also i am not the kind of mom that's super restrictive when it comes to screen time i have seen that if he benefits a lot from screen time a lot of the things that he learns are things that I would never be able to teach him <laughs> so I see him do different things and learn different things through screen time because the lighting is kind of getting bad so bear with me yes you don't want your kid to be watching TV all day or to be on the screen all day but it comes really really handy also for times when mommy just needs a little break you guys like toddlers are a lot you guys <laughs> So, um, a moments when they need a break, it's really good to have something like an iPad, which is like a guaranteed. Sometimes you try to hand him a toy, he is like not interested. He just wants the iPad. So, um, and lastly, I want to talk about the car seat. The car seat that we have is amazing. I forgot the brand, but it's the, the one that you can turn to face the door. So it's easy to get the baby out, or to, eat, to, eat to get the child out. He used his infant car seat from the moment he was born up until he was almost like a year. So when he was getting into the toddler phase and getting taller and all that fun stuff, we had to get him a brand new car seat and the toddler car seat that we have, we absolutely love. It's super comfortable for toddlers, especially if you're gonna go long distances or if your child spends a lot of time in the car. So yeah, man, that's a wrap. Like I said, children are different. Others will gravitate to one thing, but not the other other would want one thing and not the other so this is not me saying that everything that i've shown you here will definitely work for your toddler thank you for watching remember we're trying to get to 1000 subscribers so please do subscribe and do hit the notification bell so that you're notified every single time i have a new video up see you in the next video bye